Hi, and welcome to another Technical Tuesday. Sorry, it's late today. Apparently, Zoom and Facebook are not playing nicely, um, so I could not stream this live, uh, but I promise I will post it quickly afterwards so all of you can have your Tuesday uh, fix for architecture and history. Um, today, I wanted to start a multi-part talk about State Street. Um, I figured we've done a few technical ones. We should get back into some architectural history. So um, today I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the early State Street um, development, um, share a couple fun maps and nice historic photos. Um, and then the following Technical Tuesday, we'll get more into Washington Park and um, it will do a bit more Google Street View. And then we'll have a uh, site visit to wrap everything up for State Street. So hope you're all having a great week and are ready for our State Street talk. Um, so maps are more fun than just looking at me. So I'm gonna share my screen and pull up some fun maps. So State Street, um, I think a lot of you are familiar with State Street, where it is, um, obviously downtown. The bit that I wanna talk about is actually State Street that kind of goes from the Capitol um, west a little bit to the end of Washington Park. Today, I'm gonna talk a little bit about by the Capitol um, and pretty much almost up to Washington Park a little bit. Um, there's so much to talk about with the park and there's so many architectural styles. State Street really is um, that kind of high style. It is the street, if you will, um, really in downtown Albany. Um, definitely not vernacular housing. Um, so, to get into that, it might as well just start with how it started. So the map you guys are looking at is the 1794 DeWitt map. Um, it, Albany was platted fairly early. Um, there was a map that was done in the 1790s that really just showed downtown, and that's really all that existed in the 1790s. This map is one of the first that shows that kind of grid layout up the hill, and all this was proposed. It did not exist yet. Um, so all of the development was downtown in this area here. Um, see, I'm getting better at that, pointing with the mouse and not with my fingers. Uh, so you can see what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, so yeah, so you've got um, this area where it says Public Square here. That's about um, where, is it East Capitol Park? The park in front of the Capitol is City Hall. Um, so State Street right down here had been a very early part of Albany when it was still a walled in um, town. As it grew bigger, that's when we started to see this, um, oops, sorry about that, um, where it makes that kind of weird little curve out and then up um, on the south side of the Capitol. So you can see it here, again, pointing with my hand, not the mouse. Um, so you can see here how State Street ended up turning. And this map reflects um, the early naming once they were getting away from all of the Dutch names and whatnot. And so it was Deer Street. There was a street that was here before. Tony Opaka is going to have to correct me because I can't remember. I feel like it was Prudeau or Prince, but I'm not positive. So our city historian will have to correct me on what it was before it was Deer. Um, all of the north south streets were bird names. Uh, most of them are still there, most of you know. Um, and the east west streets had mammal names. So State Street was Deer. Um, as you can see on this map, they were just starting to parcel off um, across from where the Capitol is now, um, right by Eagle, and there was a little bit um, up here around Swan, kind of by where like Alfred E. Smith is, um, it would be across the street. Um, Alfred E. Smith would have been right over here. Um, but yeah, so you've got the, the off-ramp for um, the arterial there would come along here. Um, so nothing was really here then. All empty land for the most part. This started filling in um, in the mid to early 19th century. We'll go to the next map up. Um, Washington Avenue was a lot of actually kind of craftsmen, um, houses and things like that initially. Um, and Washington, or sorry, not Washington, State Street grew um, quickly along. So this map here that I'm showing is the um, 1850 map. And let's see if I can scroll down a bit. Yes, okay. So we've got um, State Street here. You've got City Hall, the park, where the Capitol is. So we can see all along here, this had filled in pretty early on with houses. Um, 
We also have some great photos that go with this to show here's some of the housing um, that was on that side of State Street that got removed when the plaza was there. Um, there's a lot that had businesses that came in later. Um, whether the, the beginning, it looks like from the photos that I've seen, the first floors weren't converted um, to storefronts the way a lot of them were on, um, like Lark Street has a lot of them, um, where they have like the larger storefronts and you can see how the, the basement kind of became commercial space. Some of these were used as mixed use, but from the photos that I've at least seen, um, I haven't seen much where it, if they had those kind of storefronts, they still look like residences that either had a commercial use or a partial commercial use. So here were a few of these, and I'm going to post some of these photos um, up on a Facebook album so that all of you can see them. And these are from a great website. Um, I don't know if any of you have seen them. I use this as one of my um, primary sources for research when I'm looking for photographs. Um, it's the New York Heritage Digital Collections um, put out by, I believe it's New York State Museum or Library. Um, but the Albany Public Library has some fabulous digital collections for photographs, and they're on this site. Um, so the album that I have open right now, obviously I'm looking at State Street, um, is one of their residential streets. And you can either search by street name or a keyword or whatnot, um, or they do have separate albums. They have a few um, different albums. This one is the residential streets. And so they have a few photos here of uh, State Street. These are a little bit further up, um, away from where, west of where Alfre Smith is now. Um, most of these, I believe, are still standing. Um, but some of these are really great, just such high style architecture. Um, and as you could see in that map, I'm going to pop back here real quick. Um, you could see that a lot of the area was really being developed by 1850. There were a lot of houses that were popping in here. Unfortunately, um, the majority of these are gone. Uh, now, but a lot of them got facelifts, the one that survived. Um, unfortunately, this side of state has a lot of newer buildings. This is where the Fort Frederick Apartments got moved to. Um, St. Rose's downtown building is in this mix. So a lot of these buildings don't still exist. The ones that do, their facades were updated. Um, there's some more buildings up here further west, and we can grab the next page of that map. Um, okay, so same map, just the next bit up. Um, apparently, this one was cut into quarters at some point. Um, so you've got State Street here. You can see all the way to Lark. It was pretty densely constructed by 1850. Um, most of the buildings on State, I've been looking at the um, National Register nomination for Center Square, which has um, fantastic records for a lot of these buildings. Um, they were documented when the district was done in the late 70s. Not all of them have a lot of the history attached that we would do now, but it definitely gives you an idea of when a lot of these buildings were built. Um, and a lot of them are listed as the late 19th century. A lot of them have um, face brick. They have a lot of details you would find later on, which begs the question, were they just modified with new facades as some were noted to have new facades? Um, or were new buildings built to replace some of the old ones as this area was definitely built up um, clearly by the 1850s and a lot of the buildings there are definitely a bit more, we're not going to say contemporary, but a bit more modern um, where they were kind of updated in the 1890s. And I think the impetus for a lot of that really was Washington Park. Um, since there were buildings here before the park was constructed, most of those got a facelift and I think that seemed to trickle down the street a little bit. Um, let me see. Can I switch? Nope, it won't let me. All right. I'll get there eventually. Okay, so here are a couple close-up photos um, of some of the buildings that we had been talking about. Let's see, I think we covered both of these. Here's a great one um, that I love. So this is the area that I was kind of talking about a few minutes ago across from the Capitol. So this is State Street, um, and this is the corner of State and Swan, it's the southeast corner. So this is um, kind of like where the LOB is now. So all these homes, this is what that looked like. So you see a bit of um, Italianate. We've got this awesome uh, Romanesque building in here, polychrome stone, really fabulous. And this is definitely indicative of what you see further up State Street. So for all of you who are going out for your walk, although maybe not today, it's pretty wet out there. Um, when the sun comes back out, take a walk down State Street and check out all the different kinds of stone and um, 
how many different kinds of face brick there are. State Street has a phenomenal amount of face brick. Some of it's blonde, some of it's orange, um, some of it's even red face brick, and it's set off with lots of stone details, lots of stone um, foundation veneers, and a lot of really fabulous details. It has a lot of Queen Anne details that you'll notice around the door surrounds, the lintels. Um, it even has a bit of uh, Second Empire mansard roofs, actually probably has the most that I've noticed on any one street. It has the most of its um, mansards remaining. Some of them came off. Um, but they weren't widely used in Albany either. Let's see if I can get to street view. I had something popped up here. Okay, here we go. All right, so this is a bit of our, our street view for the day. Um, at least it's sunny on the screen, right? If it's not actually in reality. Um, so you can see here some of the fabulous details. You've got this establisher here, definitely a bit of Greek Revival-ish details, a little bit of Queen Anne in there. Um, a lot of these were kind of a mishmash of styles, which I really like. Um, and you can see here, so I'm at State, a little bit past um, by where Alfred E. Smith is, not quite a dub. And you can see here a lot of the more modern buildings. Obviously, these have been altered a bit. Um, Fort Frederick, which was moved from where Alfred E. Smith was. Um, I'll have to find it. There's a great stop motion video of them moving it. Um, if I can find it, I'll post it, because that obviously now is like an icon of State Street, but it really wasn't when it was constructed. So we'll move back up here a little bit. You've got Westminster Baptist and Emmanuel, or Westminster Presbyterian and Emmanuel Baptist, um, two kind of stalwart churches in the area. Here's another, you'll see lots of brownstone um, that was definitely very prominent. You've got some great Gothic details. State Street really does have so many of the high style um, elements that we see little bits of throughout the rest of the city. Clinton Avenue has some really good ones. Um, different streets in Center Square, whether it's Lancaster or Chester, they all have their key buildings that have lots of great features. Um, but I find State Street, almost every building is just covered in all kinds of ornament and details. All right, of course the trees are out because it's obviously a beautiful sunny day when they went and did this. Um, Okay, so we've got lots more brownstone as we're coming up state, um, moving back into brick. There's very few, if I'm trying to think of any, um, wood frame buildings that you'd see on State Street. Um, after the fire of 1848, you weren't allowed to build wooden frame buildings close up. Nope, there we've got one. You can see on the side here with this little mansard. Um, so it, hidden in there, I mean, you do have your traditional um, Italianate buildings, which there's nothing wrong with there. Um, This is always a great one with its Morris Moorish arches and uh, the kind of polychrome with the the brick and the stone. We see lots and lots of that. Um, great details with porches. State Street really has some phenomenal architecture. So, so here's my little bit for our tour on State Street. Um, could you all to get out and check it out when it's a nice sunny day? And then next week, oh, there's that little. Um, next week, we'll talk a bit more about the park and how a lot of the houses really got facelifts um, before the or after the park was constructed. And we'll see if we can't share some photo, before and after photos uh, from around the 1870s and 80s. So thank you all for joining me today. I will be sharing all this on Facebook as soon as I'm done and all the photos that we've been talking about. So thanks for joining me and I'll see you all next week.